Hi guys, this is Vita Letum, and I'm back uh, casting StarCraft after, I don't know, two months it was the last upload, two and a half months. Um, anyways, uh, I, was, I was on vacation and uh, uh, Diablo 3 came out and everything, so it just took a, took a little time to really get back into the motivation to do this. I'd just been really busy and everything, um, and also just kind of scared to get back into StarCraft. StarCraft is one of those games where you got to you got to put a decent amount of time into it to actually do any good. Um, but uh, anyways, um, this is me That's saying me that ready. I'm going to be doing a lot more StarCraft videos and we're going to continue doing the Let's Play on Diablo 3 if you want to check that out. Uh, and uh, this, uh, this new StarCraft That's series is actually going to be called StarCraft 2 Rise Up and it's basically going to be uh, me coaching all levels of play. Um, and uh, it's going to be on YouTube and it's for anyone Additional that can support. afford regular lessons or anyone that doesn't really care for the private uh, lessons that even if they're free it's just going to be for everyone and everyone to discuss about and uh, really talk about so I'm going to be putting up games I win, lose, everything it doesn't really matter um, but uh, I really want to do this type of thing because I think a lot of people when they when they think about their games they're either like yeah, I'm a gold player, but I, I should be in Platinum or Diamond League. Um, and there's some plate people that are like, I don't know how I'm in Diamond League. I mean, I should be I should be a gold player. I guess everyone's bad. Uh, everyone's just bad, and that just allows me to get there. <laughs> but uh, you know, um, we're gonna. That's probably the first thing that we're gonna talk about is how to overcome uh, your confidence because sometimes your confidence in game can really have you lose a lot of games it makes you a little more aggressive and then there's also that uh, that feeling that uh, you're you're not good and we're also going to talk about some confidence building things and it has nothing to do with saying something it's all in game and maybe that might help you in real life too if you have anxiety problems or something like that but um, I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> um, but uh, continuing on, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing these videos, so all I need you guys to do to support me is just watch them over and over again. Um, <laughs> but you don't need to watch them over and over again. Um, uh, just the more the merrier. Um, like, subscribe and comment and if you comment that gives me ideas for future videos and uh, other ideas of what to do um, for you guys and this is all for you guys um, and of course the more you do that that means I'll be able to do more videos because I won't have to work so much that's always a bonus and uh, yeah and Phoenix won't be a jerk and say my oh, show doesn't do anything so yeah um, anyways Anyways, I just want to say that uh, that uh, we should start on the first one. It's uh, now about uh, five minutes into the game, so we can start talking about uh, confidence. Um, so I know countless amount of people that think that they're bronze and they should be in gold, or they're gold and they should be in diamond. Now, from a coaching aspect, a coach always wants to say and gives them confidence that hey, you're better than this, and you can do these things. And you think about these in your head, you just don't do them, so you need to start doing them. I don't and I, and coaches will do that, and they'll hammer builds into you. But really, the only thing you're learning, you're not actually getting better in that hour's time. It's just impossible to do. All they're doing is giving you a build order, and you can look online to find a build order. It really isn't that hard. Go online, find a build order, look it up, make sure you build SCVs, and build the building. It really, really isn't that hard. Now, what the hard part is, um, so that's that's all a coach is doing for an hour time. It's giving you a build order, giving you confidence to actually use the units and make the units for that build order. So, um, so let's. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna break your break some confidence right now. If you are in Diamond League and you think you should be in Masters. If you are in Platinum League and you think you should be in Diamond, so on and so forth, 
forget about that. You are a platinum player. Think you are a platinum player. And just think about getting better as a platinum player. Because as soon as you become a diamond player, you are then a diamond player. And even, and even then, I don't actually consider anyone a masters player or diamond player or platinum player or gold player or any of the leagues i don't consider you a part of that league until you're at least mid tier um that means at least ranked at uh ranked at 25 rank and my reasoning behind that is because you're still playing the people in the lower leagues so because of that you're you might be better than the average platinum player if you're diamond but it just doesn't doesn't make off. any sense. Um, Research so complete. Also, with um, with gaining uh, gaining confidence, um, you need to make sure that that just because you you feel like that you're not improving, you're not doing better, you need to remember that just you playing and doing something different. You see, I think a lot of people that don't have confidence, Research they get in a complete. routine. They do the same thing over and over again. Don't worry about getting out of your box, doing different things. This replay in general, Upgrade. I was getting out of my box. I I wanted to do an all-in. I don't really like doing all-ins typically. Um, I mean, I have, I have them a couple or one other one uploaded, but that's a very rare occasion so what I want to do was to break out of my box and do something different because not only is that going to keep my interest in the game but it's going to bring up my confidence because I know I can do more things I can really start achieving more things in that uh, general aspect and eventually I can start mixing up my I can mix up my playstyle so on and so forth um, also um, uh, sorry Phoenix is talking to me in the back background, and, and he was saying that uh, uh, that even if you lose, you can learn something, and that's not the lesson for to, for today. But we'll make sure we get into that. Um, uh, but uh, and back to back to losing losing your confidence is is. Don't think that Additional you're the best player device. because if you think you're the best player, all you all you're doing is setting yourself up to lose a lot of confidence or just get angry when you lose, and that's not going to make you a better player at all. That's all that's going to do is just make you a very vengeful player. That's going to make you want to mass games and never really learn anything because you already think you've learned it all. You already think, I make plenty of drones, I, I do I make plenty of SCVs, I make plenty of probes, I never get supply blocked, or or the, I only lost to this guy because he got lucky. Well, learn to make it so he doesn't get lucky. You know, a lot of the games that I play, when I, especially when I'm not all in, um, I think the last video that was uploaded I had units all over the place just to see where the army was and to be into being complete honesty that's the best way to make sure that your opponent doesn't get lucky because you had a mispositioned army because you always know where they are and i think a lot of people forget that there are so many subtle things you can do in this game to have a huge huge advantage and i don't not pros don't even do that yet I am not at the level I don't move fast enough to be a pro player, but it, um, but it doesn't mean you can't think like one. And what I mean by that is, again, never think you are the best player. Always think that there's something to improve on. Me, I think about the game at a really, really uh, in-depth proportion, but I do not move fast enough, and I make some in-game choices that um, are against my original plan. And that really screws a lot of things up. So I know I have a lot to improve on. Mineral field um, depleted. And when and don't think you're the worst player either. If you think you're the worst player, all that's going to do is that's going to set you up to make more mistakes because you're you're unconfident in doing new things. You just want to do the same thing over and over again. And when you do, and when you do do new things, I mean. It, it just feels very bogged down. It makes you feel like, oh, this is gross. I don't want to do this again. There's no way to expand it. Well, no, that's just you starting your first, your next build order, and maybe a build order no one's ever done before, and you can start uh, exploring with it. Timings, when things happen, so on and so forth. I mean, there's no problem with doing that. 
um, because losing a game, it doesn't matter if you lose a game, who cares if you lose a couple points here and there. I mean, if you want to go pro, you don't, don't worry about points. That isn't going to make you pro. What's going to make you become a professional player or get really good at this game is not only you not caring about the points, but you wanting um, to just get better whether win or lose so sometimes there's going to be times where you're going to be like i want to lose to this guy what type of mistakes can i make to lose to this guy and um and i've done that before and sometimes i don't lose and that's that's really cool when i don't lose even though i'm trying to and i'm not saying stop moving or anything or slow down i mean um Stop making SCVs and go completely all in a completely random time. Like, do things completely off tilt. And the reason why I say that, well, I guess technically you'd be trying to put yourself in tilt, tilt by StarCraft terms, but anyways, um, when you do those type of things, not only can you become an unexpected player and do things really, really cool and, uh, and uh, completely do everything with that but and, uh, and make new builds and new timings and things like that but it really starts bogging your interest in the game anyways uh, I have a lot more to say on this subject and if you have any questions leave in the comments below if you want to me to do more uh, more videos like this on the same subject uh, also leave a comment in the uh, comment below and um, make sure you like and subscribe this is Vito Letum and I'm signing out Mineral